Thank you very much, David. I hope you can see that we have a lot of young people here today with us, and I'm sure your, your talk has inspired many of them to think of themselves as potential future astronauts, uh, maybe for the Mars mission, which is uh, uh, at least uh, 10 years or 15 years away. And thank you very much for that inspiring talk. Do you have time for a few questions from them? Yes, certainly. Are there any questions for uh, David? Don't feel shy. Come on up and ask. I can see somebody wants to ask questions, but feeling a bit shy. David, one of the things which, when I first started working with uh, CSN NASA, it came to realization that how much of the investment made for space travel has led to commercial benefits on Earth. Uh, many things which we take for granted in everyday life is now uh, was originally developed to help. Uh, the space missions, and now it's it's in everyday use, such as GPS. Uh, maybe uh, uh, you can tell us anything exciting that you've seen that you think will benefit us uh, on Earth in future. As you know, we are taking advantage of the robotic development uh, which was done for space, and we are now working with MDA to develop uh, some robotic uh, uh, devices for medical care. Uh, one of them is being uh, sort of unveiled uh, at this conference, but uh, the future ones are to come. Yes, uh, you're right. There's a space uh, technology has impacts on our everyday life, and uh, has had for several decades. Actually, the whole of this adventure of humanity into space has had impacts on our life for such a long time that we seem to have forgotten about it. You mentioned the GPS, of course, but there's more than that. Just the mere fact that we know our planet so well, that we know what it looks like, even though we're most we're stick to the ground most of our lives, uh, that's also part of the philosophical benefit of, of spaceflight. And I think I view it as a, it's part of the continuum of uh, the evolution of humanity to be able to see its own planet from the outside. And there's also the fact that spaceflight has contributed to the unity of mankind. One of the personally most interesting facets of spaceflight is that it is essentially an international endeavor. Thank you. Any other questions? D uh, yes. Dr. Barber has a question. Please come to this microphone, Doug, if you could, so he can see you. You can see this one, too? Yeah. David, uh, can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Okay. Uh, I just wondered if you would comment on uh, the uh, tourist space business. It seems we've had a few people with enough hundreds of millions to afford a ticket. Uh, do they have to prepare like you do? Or uh, what, what's the future of tourism to uh, other places than Earth? Yes, this is a very hot topic. And Mike, could you switch off the uh, the audio when I'm because I hear myself an echo. Thank you. So a hot topic of uh, uh, tourism in space. There is a, as you know, a Canadian went uh, Guy La Liberté. I met him recently, and he had to go through exactly the same training I went through uh, here in Moscow at Star City. He's actually well remembered as a very studious person. He wanted to do this right. Of course, space tourists don't do res scientific research or they don't have to deal so in details with the emergency procedures. But in a way they are, I see them as investors in the space program, like people who believe in it and they're ready to, to put their money uh, into it. And maybe they're a glimmer of what's uh, waiting for us in the future where we won't necessarily only be highly trained technical people doing uh, space missions, but they will be anybody. Any other questions for David? If not, thank you very much, David. Uh, have a wonderful training in Star City, and we look forward to seeing you when you return back to Canada. And I would thank love to show much. you our robots when you got here.
Thank you very much. And everybody, don't forget to follow Chris Hatfield's mission in December this year. I'll we'll be we'll very excited. That. He's a local boy, as you know. He's from Milton. So he's, we will definitely do that. Thank you.